This question is from Christopher on, this, on a similar topic. The EU has about 60 or so trade deals with countries outside the EU. Yeah. How will these trade relations develop with Theresa May's formula, mm. hard Brexit or no deal Brexit, yeah. or remaining? Okay, great uh, question. Let me do remaining first because that's the easiest <laughs> scenario. If we stay part of the EU, we will kind of you know remain you know part of those trade deals. As a member of the EU, we are fully signed up to those trade deals, and we will benefit from them and from any future trade deals the EU uh, negotiates. So, for example, when the EU Japan agreement comes into effect, that will apply to mm. us. If there's a no deal Brexit things become, you know, a little bit more complicated because, you know, once, out, once we're outside of the EU, then in principle there's no reason why these agreements should apply to, uh, to us anymore. That said, uh, the government and the Department for International Trade under Liam Fox, they are working to get countries to agree to ro kind of roll these deals over with the UK even after we leave. Um, my, we don't know whether they'll be successful in doing that, and it hasn't, certainly hasn't been done so far. My guess is that most countries will be willing to roll the agreements over in roughly the form they currently have. Right? They might ask for some additional concessions from us, from the UK, in order to you know, say, well, you can, can still benefit from this agreement. But probably most countries aren't going to want to fully reopen um, negotiations on the, on, on the existing agreement. So... If we don't remain, you know, it's a little bit unclear what will happen. We can probably hope to roll most of those things over. We might have to, you know, pay some costs in order to, to do that. Um, and the withdrawal agreement says that, you know, if, if we sign up to that, um, the EU will try and help us to stay in these deals, but they can't guarantee that because, you know, if you want to stay, say, in the EU-South Korea deal, the country that decides that it's not the EU, it's South Korea. So the question would be, is South Korea willing to uh, let the UK remain part of that deal? Uh, the EU can ask South Korea to do that, but it can't uh, force it uh, to. So there's you know, some potential difficulties um, there and then you know, a whole bunch of technical complications uh, around it. But I'm not, I, I wouldn't expect that we would lose access to those, most of those deals. Okay. And what about then Theresa May's formula? So, yeah, I mean, I guess that would be the, I mean, I, I'm going to call Theresa May's formula like the withdrawal agreement okay. case. So, again, it's a little bit uncertain, but we can probably expect a little bit more help from the EU than we would if it was no deal. Okay. 